Happy Tuesday, everybody. Today we are quilting blocks. You can check me out on Instagram at Stitch It Alt Designs. And we are making a 7 inch by 7 inch squared quilt. It'll have 7 blocks across and 8 7 inch blocks down which is a total of 56 blocks total. So on Instagram, I have um, how to start quilting blocks without having a bunch of supplies with your rulers and all that stuff. Um, as if when I started quilting and then today video was uh, video two, I did with the cutting uh, mat and other rulers. Which makes a difference in time and accuracy with cutting and stuff like that. It really saves a lot of time. But we all we don't start out like that. I didn't start out like that having all that stuff. I have acquired it over many years. Quilting is my passion. When I started sewing, quilting was what I was doing. Quilting's all I wanted to do. Um I was still working in healthcare at the time. So this was not a job. This was just a hobby then. But life happens and years of experience turns into an occupation. I was taught professionally how to sew. This was not what I originally was going to do. All right, so we are sewing, ironing, and making blocks and turning a simple uh, seven by seven. Well, okay, so these are eight inch by eight inch squares. The seven inch square part is after we have um, subtracted the half inch seam allowance from each side. And this is a short video because I'm only doing two. So, back stitch. I don't recommend sewing over needles. I have placed them as far back as I can without them affecting the fabric. I'm still going to continuously sew this, but... I still backstitch. I know some people don't, but hey, each one's on. I'm using a 9014 needle, and again, you can see the instructional video from beginning um, on um, Instagram. And we're gonna do a seven day. Well, I am doing a seven-day quilting video showing how to build a quilt with quilting blocks from scratch, okay? So, it, 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 if you have time, you have, these are from my old work uniforms when I was pregnant with Haven. So, this is not me buying fabric. This doesn't cost any money. Only thing I ask you not to use is knits or t-shirt material because you will need a stabilizer for those and I am not using stabilizer for these. These are much softer fabric than I had yesterday. And I'll show you the two squares we met we made yesterday. So you can see what the end goal is going to look like. So this was um, one of the two squares we made yesterday, and this was the one we made today. So I am making the second four block 
Square today on Facebook. Um, so I can let you know that we are doing quilting blocks for beginners on Instagram. I'm not going to do two workshops because I don't have a lot of time. But, and this so far has been just five minutes, but it does take time to line up everything. And I like to pin the seams where they touch and right outside of them. And now I hope if you if you haven't seen me sew anything, y'all know that I do have um, a nerve problem. So sometimes I throw things, drop things, miss things. Don't be alarmed. That's me every day. And sometimes I lose things. Mostly I lose things. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a wonderful Tuesday. And this was pretty quick. However, cutting and measuring, deciding what size of square you want does take time, will take time. So don't think because we did this in like eight minutes that that's all it takes because um, when y'all got on here, the squares were already cut, which meant I already measured them and I had already cut them. And I, and I checked to make sure they were still squared. So, yeah, those are still steps that you want to do. So I suggest you do um, check out the quilting videos on Instagram. When I, when I get a chance, I will do some more quilting videos from the beginning. I rarely get to do them, so this is like a holiday for me. Mm -hmm. Y'all know that I don't believe in dragging that um, thread and then cutting it like that. It it pulls the fabric. It really does. And I don't like it. So we're just going to open this up. And iron it. On the seam flat. Some people do seams from side to side. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but it does make more of a bulk. No matter how flat you iron it, it still makes a bulk. Um, and that's what I don't like. I got thread all over this. So as you see, the seams match up. And you have a quilt. Now, just because you have already um, squared off the smaller quilts doesn't mean you don't have to continue to square off. So, this is finished. You want to make sure that this finished size is 15 by 15 because when you take off the next half inch from each side, when you connect the other blocks and do um, the binding, it should equal seven by seven squares so your math's not wrong just keep in mind you still have a half an inch to take off hope you've enjoyed this video i've enjoyed making it have a great day